Hello and uh, welcome to this video. We're just going to show you how to place um, some Mark III cantilever, Mark III A, um, on straight track and corners. So you need to read the manuals to find out what all the naming um, uh, structure is, or so AC means, and all the rest of it. So, but we'll try and cover the basics. Um, and apologies for the frame rate in the videos. My computer's not very good. So on a straight here, and it's a single track. So I want a um, AS automatic straight one T. Here we go. And let's move the camera back a bit. If we go to this right hand flyout, pin it out, click on auto filter, we can choose what um, reaches we want. So um, you can have, let's just place one mast. Um, now this is a bug. Um, if you click again it will load up the asset the first time it has to load an asset it doesn't show it properly so if we watch here it's not right click again and it's now right okay so just get all those loaded up right so you can see you've got um, 2.5 meter reach r2.5 r3.2 r3.6 and r4 the standard we're going to use is 3.2 so here we go click again and that's still on a straight, but you can see we're just about to come to a curve, so I'm going to click once more. And now we're onto a uh, corner. So I'm going to switch to a corner tool. So um, if I remount, get the camera positioned roughly to where the stanchion is, I can just place it in exactly the right place. So AC for automatic corner, 1T. Get it in the approximate location that we had before. Click. And we just click around the corner simple as this you can move the camera left and right as you go around to keep it in shot so that's the last corner one's going to click again and now I'm going to right click to cancel and right click once more know roughly where I want it to be we'll go back to automatic straight click again and we're now back on the straight so we're going to have a couple of gaps in the wire loop. How do we fill those in? Go to lofts, miscellaneous, click on the contact or continue UI, click on the little circles at the bottom, a circle there, hopefully in the distance you can see a circle there, automatically stick the wire in, and now put the return in. Okay, I, I you must uh, hopefully appreciate that I'm doing this uh, at a slower pace to how I normally work because we're just uh, showing you how to do it. So at the other end, and then the contact wire. Now, the reason why we've got these gaps is because on straights we have a 23 centimeter stagger, which is what's used in the real world, and on corners you allow a 38 centimeter stagger. That's the amount of movement. Um, left to right of the center point of the track that is allowed. So on straight you can move left to right 23 centimeters and on corners 38. Now unfortunately the game doesn't um, um, replicate uh, this uh, very accurately. It's quite accurate but not spot on in game. So uh, the only way to kind of work around for this is to have a separate straight tool and a separate corner tool. Now um, 95% of people aren't going to notice whether you've got the right amount of stagger on straight and on corners. So if you want to uh, place um, catenary, overhead catenary quickly, then I recommend just using the AC, the corner tools, which will mean you'll have too much zigzag or too much stagger on the straights, um, but it will be right on the corners. Um, it doesn't matter if there's too much stagger on the straights really, it just depends on how realistic you want to be. So that's my a tool, a quick tip as it were, if you want to save time, if you're not too bothered about lot, uh, uber realism or whatever you want to call it, then just use the AC tools, don't worry about the AS, the AC being automatic curve and the AS being straight. So stick with the curve tools even on the straights. Okay, that's the end of this video, thank you very much.